Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Here in Fort Draken, uh, where we are just escaping from our prison. Uh, so this card As you say. has had co coins, that's good. Yes, uh, we were captured because, um, well, they don't like us in this city where everything has to be a lie. Um, to further one's own goals. So yeah. Also, these pillars don't do much if they have no middle section. Well, anyways. Uh, I guess the right way to go is out here. So we'll just open this door. Nothing around here. Uh, well then, let's go in to this side area. Where we have nice little weapon stands. Fire arrows, I'll take them. There are some guard uniforms here. Ah, I see. So we could put on uniforms and hope for an undetected um, escape. But it's not a lot of... Well, let's put down a safe here. So should we need the uniform, we could always go back and take it, but I think we'll be fine probably just going on without those uniforms and just colonel's office storage. Yeah, let's just go first in here. There's a guard. We'll shoot that guard with an arrow slaying. And down they go. What do we have in here? Very well. Money you say. and an iron ring. Uh, honestly, iron rings don't do that much. Uh, takes up a space in the inventory, and I can't have that. Nothing down here, but it's it's. Uh, it's nicely. Nicely um, furbished. Now, metal door. What do we have here? Colonel and two soldiers. Well, easy enough. Let's start off with an arrow, a scatter shot. Okay, and just shoot, fire, um, kick that guy. And he's flying through the air. That's a great shot, actually. <laughs> That's a great shot. Uh, yep, okay, so send him flying. And he's dead. And the colonel... Uh, what should we do with him? Actually, we have our aim. We don't have the aim active. Now we do, so we should get more hits in. Okay. It is begun. Great sword, silver. I don't need that key to the front door hall. Front hall door. Front door hall. Uh, we take that. Uh, we also probably want to check this room out, but not take anything. Why would I need bolts? But yes, we have more guards. We still have, or we have the arrow sling available to us again. So. Let's just do that. There we go. It shall be done. Not close the door, please. Just attack that guy. Okay, thank you. Now, wooden crate, greenstone. Okay, we can take that. Elf root, we'll take that. Guard with cash and guard with. A list of passwords. Today's password is rabbit. I'll take that. Could be useful. Get some coins. And more coins. So anything up here. No, that's just a dead end. That's good. Uh, let's put down a save real quick and go through the front door. 
Is that the one where we needed the key? No, not yet. So guard, guard, just regular guards and soldier. Enemies ahead. Oh! Uh, we can deal with them actually with a uh, scatter shot. Could help. Okay, everyone is stunned. Deal with the archers. Okay, that was some stunning. Uh, let's kick that guy and shoot that guy first. There we go. And the last one. Not too bad so far. We don't have a full party, but that's okay. Some cash, some more cash, even more money, and... Blank vellum. Is this the front door? No. Is the front door like the... The, the big one for the keep? What? Ah, look at that. We have... Someone where I can't read the name. Well, in the name of Andres' Sanctify Girl is going on here. Hey, we've got the prisoner loose. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, let's shoot them with an arrow of scattering. Sergeant Tana. Uh, can't do anything to prevent all that violence, sadly. Uh, did I stun all of them? Or did they stun me? I think they stunned me. Uh, let's deal with the soldiers with an arrow of slaying real quick. Did I not hit? Ah, uh, was interrupted probably. Uh, health potion. There we go. Okay, and they're down. Now do the archers. So I would have an arrow of slaying again. That was a curve shot. That was a nice curve shot. Sadly, it didn't hit either. Uh, heavy chainmail and cash. I don't need chainmail. Uh, the soldier is still alive, Alistair, actually. What, what are you doing? <laughs> well, anyways, we got that. They have a lot of ballistae here. With dog heads. Interesting, interesting. Yes, okay. But we fought our way through here. And looks like we have rooms to the left and the right. Sister Augustine, what do you have to say? Well, no. There's a captain coming. Let's shoot that one with a... Oh, reinforcements! Reinforcements. There we have all the... <laughs> the queen just died. <laughs> uh... Okay, that's great. Now we have a healer at least. Let's see that she still survives. Perhaps. Uh, you should drink a health potion. Okay, that worked. Uh, you can now start casting like ice. Okay, and electricity, and arcane bolts. I am ready. Are you all right? You know, I'm almost disappointed we didn't get to try our plan. How oh, well? Okay. Oh, it's Leliana. It's not. It's not the queen. Ah, my bad. My bad. Uh, why those two? I mean, it's okay. She just probably doesn't have any kind of 
equipment on her. Uh, enchanted dagger, grey iron. Well, she has some gear. Not the best, but not the worst either. Let's see. Level ups first. 36 points to spend. Uh, she's a rogue. Let's put four into strength and the rest goes into, let's say, 18 into dexterity. And, well, now let's do 20 and 12. Something like that. Uh, she can be dualist or part. She can have this skill and this, this, and I don't know. Those. She is dual wielding. So we need a passive for sure, and more passives, that's good. Uh, sustained, active, active, sustained. Not sure, honestly. Let's get lethality. Just in case. Uh, coup de grâce. She has Song of Valor, which is good. She can activate that. Let's get her up to here. And... Just, I don't know, get her a couple more spells around here, that's probably good. She will be just using tactics, the default scrapper thing, that sounds good. Uh, but I would like to have her activate the song. As you like. That would be good. Apart from that... I think we are ready to just continue on. Captain has had chainmail gloves and a health potion, that is good. I mean, probably the section is almost done or something. Longbow, Sylvan Wood, tier 6. I don't need that. So here we also have more side sections with scale armor, a regular one, don't need that. And on the other side, we'll find nothing. Alright, a nice picture. That's the, the circle tower, isn't it? Huh. Well, there we have it. We successfully um, fled from the prison, probably. Let's go to... Ah, that's a good question. Where should we go to? Uh... Captured. List of passwords on the fort. Looks like today's password is rabbit. May help you pass some of the guards. Ah, we just killed them. Now that's okay. Um, yes, I mean, we have to go to Denerim. For sure. Mages Collective can't do anything there. Uh, deliver letters. Uh, can't do that. We need the alienage and the landsmeet. So I'm guessing we just have to go to the Arl or the market district. Yeah, let's go to the Arl. There we can switch out the party probably, but we'll be ambushed. I think. Would be kind of a long way to walk without an ambush in Denerim. No? Alright, no ambush so far. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's good. So... Do these people have something to say, actually, our companions? Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Nah, uh, just uh, the default sentences. 
So we'll go back to the Arl. I think that's probably what we'll have to do. Arl Eamon rescued the Queen. Maker's breath, it's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed, we have been praying for your safe return, Warden. Uh, it's good to see you are all right, uh, Queen, as well. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Hmm, yes, we had a, a conversation with him where he wasn't really... Um, couldn't really be reasoned with. Yeah, but is there no way to reason with him? I thought so. I'd hoped so. Hal's influence was strong. His death can only be a good thing, but even that will not be enough. I know my father, and he is committed to his course. He will see this through, no matter what. You will need ammunition come the lands need, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. Uh, basically we have Alistair. Um, yeah, but it sounds more like you need us. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. I mean, I see the thing with Alistair. He doesn't even want to be the king. Uh, so... Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close, all the same. Yeah, what's the saying? Keep your enemies, uh, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Okay, why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. Yes. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Exactly. Um, we'll have to feel her a bit more so we know what her motives are. And she's single now, right? Yeah, and she's single now. <laughs> thinking you might stand a chance at courtship. It would be unseemly for her to marry so soon after Kaelin's death. 
She wouldn't take that risk unless it helps her secure the throne. Yeah, perhaps Alistair could marry her. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Um, why is it so important to put Marek's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. I see. Um, anything else? We certainly have a great deal to plan. What do you think he's doing in the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. All right. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. Just my words. Um, right. Where is she again? Anyways, unrest in the alienage. We can go to the alienage now. But first, let's talk to a couple people. I haven't been here in a while. Ask away. Uh, can of we course. talk about any of the happenings? No. All right. We did talk to him, Riordan. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Could you tell me about that vault again? It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. Hmm, that sounds good. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. Okay, um... Can you tell us some more about the Grey Wards? Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. How many Wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfells are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Hmm. So have you ever been to Weishaupt? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad. And very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Okay, uh, how were the Wardens found? It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, although none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, why has it been so long since the last blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. All right, guess that's all for the now. The important thing to remember is none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Uh, Hello again, friend. It wants to ask you what are you what are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the blight and where the archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. Okay, so I'll be going then. Good luck to you then. We will have to talk again when the lands meet is more settled. Sounds like a plan. Now this chest has something we don't need, yes, okay. Now here we have the queen. And very well. Arlena. My lady, she will be forever grateful, Warden. Will she? Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Um, why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. So, you're proposing a formal alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. And once you have the throne, what then? What happens to Logan if you're the queen? He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Well, justice must be done, don't you think? I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Well... I mean, putting you on the throne is well and good, but what will you do once you are there? Um... Why not simply marry Alistair, the best of both worlds? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but... 
Is this something Alistair even desires? Uh, I think I could convince him. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Well, I will speak to him then. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So, we are arranging marriages here. Political games. Um, you have probably nothing to say. Let's talk to Alistair. So, I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. So, you still don't want to be king? I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws, settling disputes, that's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Well... You don't like the things Anora likes to do, so that would be a good match, wouldn't you say? Think you should marry Anora? Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy! Well, it's not as... Crazy as you think. Uh, she can rule while you lead. It's perfect. I suppose. I don't know how much of a leader I am, but at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Ah, oh, you're just afraid of being attached. I haven't been here in a while. Ask away. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, so... Apparently this marriage is settled. <laughs> well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? Um... He has agreed to your terms. He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Um, yeah, marry Alistair and you have my support. So, so, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Um, do you need anything? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still... Thank you. Okay, that I was... spoken with Alistair. Perhaps this mad betrothal won't be quite the curse it first seemed. No, it won't. He's a bit special sometimes, especially around Win, but... He's a good guy. You have anything to say I as well? Ask away. Of course. Nope. Nothing more to add to this conversation. Right. So then, we have more stuff to do. But I'm guessing only in the next episode. Uh, we'll go to the aliens. Let's uh, check our quest log real quick. So we need one more garnet. We need to go to the Chantry. 
we need to find the sextant. Uh, something's working behind the scenes in Ferelden. Wilmadon, yes, right, somewhere in Denerim. Not sure where that Wilmadon will be. Uh, Tortured Noble. Uh, Sigharth, I think that one was in in the inn. Then we have a signet ring that has to go to Ban Alstan, I think also in the in the room. The alienage, that's good, because in the alienage we hopefully can do these three. So yes, next time I think it's time to uh, return quests that we can and then go to the alienage. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day and bye!